man needs much of an introduction. David Getzer, congratulations on winning your best DJ. Well, thank you. Number one, that's a big thing. <laughs> how does it feel? How do you how do you cope with the expectation now placed on your shoulders to deliver constantly such a high performance? Um, you know, not only in the DJ booth, but also with your production. Well, that expectation was there already, you know, before um, before the winning the top 100 DJ, but. Uh, the thing is that I put myself so much pressure on myself. I don't even need other people to do it because I'm, I'm very hard on myself. So, um, you know, uh, that's kind of my problem. Actually, I'm always like, I'm a difficult person to satisfy. And um, it's good, I think, for the fans, but it's sometimes a little bit difficult for people around me and for myself because uh, it's difficult for me to say, okay, I'm happy with what I've done. It, it almost never happens. If we talk about nothing but the beat and the album you've got out now, um, tell us about the selection process uh, for the artists. Um, what ethos did you use to go about the production of that uh, album? Well, the way I work is first I make beats, um, you know, I make the music, and then after I think, okay, uh, who would be the best artist for this record? And um, Sometimes artists are calling me because I'm also a producer, so sometimes you know they want me to work for their, al their albums, and sometimes I propose them, okay, do you want to come on my album? And sometimes um, I meet them by accident on stage in, in a festival or in a club, and we're like, okay, come on, we should work together, let's go to the studio now, you know, and it's crazy like this, it happens a lot. Yeah. And, uh, Sometimes, but very rarely, it happens through management or record companies. But it's maybe ten percent. Any favorite artists you prefer to work with? Or? I'm not going to tell you that. Are you crazy? <laughs> okay, if we could go back to the Amsterdam dance event now, how important do you think these events and conferences are to the industry in general? Well, Amsterdam dance event is becoming a huge event, and I'm really happy about it because for so many years, you know. Everything was happening in Europe, and we all had to go to Miami, and I was like, this is not right, you know, and, and I love, you know, uh, going to Miami for WMC, but I think that it's fair that there's something big and important like this in Europe uh, for us, and, and it's perfect, you know, I've seen a lot of the big people from the industry here uh, this week, and I think this is a very healthy event. Yeah, you're with uh, EMI obviously, will, will you be doing any business here going forward with any new projects at all whilst you're here? No, not really, I mean, I have, because everybody's there, it's the opportunity to make meetings, you know, like, because we always online, but it's good to meet face to face, so yes, I've had a meeting with, you know, my agents from America, from Europe, uh, you know, my management, and, and my record company, and, and you know, I'm meeting new DJs, new producers uh, that I think are exciting. You know, it's just, it's good vibe, you know. You must get sent an awful lot of new material, certainly a lot from aspiring producers and artists. Do, do you actually ever spend time going through anything that you're sent, or is that filtered through your a and um, Well, I have one person that helps me to filter it because it's so much now that it, it would make my life impossible. You know, I would have to quit sleeping and, and eating if I wanted to listen to all the music that I've received. So I have one person that is doing a filter and then I have to listen myself to maybe 20 records a day, maybe maybe even 40, yeah, maybe 40 records a day, which is already pretty good, you know, and, and pick from that. Okay, cool. Well, David Getzer, congratulations. You're a legend. Thank you. David Getzer.